Bret Hart and what he has to say about George the Animal Steel. Not a lot of good things to say. Basically, during this interview, Bret Hart is asked about different backstage agents with the WWF. All these agents' names are mentioned. Rene Goulet, Tony Guerrero, Chief J. Strongbow, and then the name George the Animal Steel is mentioned. And that's where Bret Hart basically buries George the Animal Steel. And definitely nothing positive, nothing good to say about George the Animal Steel. Steel was one of the worst. Uh, George Steele was one of those kind of guys. I remember George Steele doing lines of coke and partying with everyone else. And then like a week later or a couple of weeks later, they made him a, an agent. And he was just like one of the prisoners that got turned into one of the guards. And he was like, he was just a motherfucker, man. He was not a good guy at all. Yeah. He was yeah. always fine. He fined my brother Owen and um, Berserker one time. We were one minute late in uh, Hershey Park one time when I was champion. Right after I won the belt, I remember... Owen and Berserker were riding with me just because it was, I was give them a free ride to the, you know, I never charged for trans. And when we got there, we were laughing, we were taking our time, we got, we were getting coffees and stuff like that, and walk in the dress room, and George Scott's like this, and he goes, it's 6.32 or something like that, and I go, so? He goes, you're two minutes late. I go, really? He goes, I gotta find you. He find all of us 500 bucks each. And, and that would hold up with Vince yeah. in the office if George Steele did I was, that? I was champion. I was supposed to lead, lead, uh, set an example for the rest of the company. I'm, I'm on last. I'm there at 6.32. I go, this is bullshit. <laughs> Rene Goulet or Chief Jay Strongbow or any of them, none of them would ever do something like that. But George Steele, you know. And I, I need to tell the end of that story is that I remember my brother Owen and Macho Man. I can actually tell this story now. They took his... Uh, Halliburton, if he's ever wondering whatever happened to us, his uh, Halliburton, um, he had locked up with his passport and his Glossopy bags and his pills and everything else in there, his airplane tickets. And I remember Owen, he, him and Randy snuck it out in a, under a jacket to, to the car. And uh, later on that night, an hour later after we left the building, I remember Owen, we were driving over a bridge in uh, somewhere in like New Rochelle or something like that. And he, Opened the window and threw it out, and the and it went sailing over the, into the river, Manhattan River or something like that. And but I just remember George Scott. You always wonder why would someone do that? Such a good guy, but he, you know, he George always, Steele. George Steele. George Scott. I'm oh, sorry, George yeah. Steele. And uh, he was not a good guy. He was a, a snitch. <laughs>